Hey guys, it's Miss Hansworth back with another video, and we are starting our study of commas. Um, so I love how this little girl says it. I'm sitting here editing my report. I've decided something. Commas are a lot like dogs. Would you care to guess what I mean by that? Just as there are tons of dog breeds in the world, there are also tons of comma rules that have to be memorized. And I think that makes commas a little daunting and a little scary. Um, but we're going to take a little bit of the mystery out of commas this week and next week and um, learn some of the simpler rules. So today my friends and their dogs are going to list various common rules for you. They will start with some of the simpler rules and progress to the more complex. Um, we are not going to learn all these rules right now. There are nine. We will cover some more after Christmas and you will learn some more in fourth grade, fifth grade, and as you move on up. Okay. So first of all, let's just start off with what is a comma? A comma is a punctuation mark. It looks the same as an apostrophe, but it is not. A comma hangs out down low, down here, like, yes, dear. And an apostrophe flies high in the air up here, like, I can't wait. And it's not the final punctuation in a sentence. A lot of times when we think punctuation marks, we think period, question mark, exclamation mark. But it can be used a lot of places inside of a sentence. And there can be more than one comma in a sentence. You're not going to have more than one question mark in a sentence, right? That would just be weird. But you can have lots of commas in a single sentence. So when you see a comma in your reading, it's like a yellow light, okay? A period, a question mark, an exclamation mark at the end, those are like red lights. They tell you to stop. That's the end of the sentence. Um, a comma just says slow down, take a breath. So let's listen to how this sentence would sound if we didn't pause for the commas. I like cheese, ham, peppers, and pineapple on my pizza. Yeah, that's not right. So now let's pause at each comma and take a little breath. I like cheese, ham, peppers, and pineapple on my pizza. Oh, so much better. So whenever you see a comma, just take a little mini breath. You're not stopping all the way. I like cheese, ham, peppers, and pineapple on my pizza. No, that's too janky and too cut up. All right, you want to keep your fluency, but you do need to take a breath, okay? So for your assignment today, take a book that you're reading or anything from Epic and find me 10 commas. So you're going to take a picture or a screen cap, add that in the seesaw, and then highlight the commas that you found. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.